All right. 33.5 million people have been diagnosed with COVID, not including those with current infections since the pandemic. Why is natural immunity not being recognized? I think that's sort of the same question. You know, na natural, it depends on how severely ill you were, really. And it depends on your underlying immune system. So we have patients with multiple myeloma and lymphoma and other illnesses. They just don't mount any antibody, no matter how sick they became. And they get reinfected very easily. In fact, there's a paper that just recently came out in a hematologic journal that I was looking at. And they said 50% of lymphoma patients, even after two doses of the vaccine, don't mount the antibody that they should. And they should get boosters even up front. So if someone's 80 years old, uh, you know, their immune response is poor and they may not have antibody after they became infected the first time. So potentially reinfection could be a challenge in these patients. So natural in, uh, immunity, to summarize this, if a person is intrinsically healthy, they're young, they had a pretty good dose of the COVID, yes, then they'll have immunity that's going to last them for at least a year or more. But in other individuals, it may not. Okay. Any questions? So it sounds like you're drawing a connection between how severe someone's bout with COVID is and how long they may have immunity, or how good the immune response their body mounts is. Does that apply also to the vaccine? In, in other words, if someone gets the vaccine and doesn't have really bad side effects, uh, does that possibly mean that they are immune for a shorter time than someone who experienced more severe side effects? Yeah, that's a good question, Hampton. To People who don't know Hampton, he's a great ICU nurse. <laughs> um, the correlation between side effects from the vaccine and the antibody titers is not 100%. We do see patients that have good antibody titers that have no side effects and vice versa. But in general, you're right. I mean, if you have no response to the, to the, anti, to the vaccine, then maybe it's prudent to check the levels at some point just to make sure you have some antibody response. What do you think, John? Yeah, I concur. And, you know, with the vaccine, part of the reaction that you can get is, you know, part of immunity, part, part, part of it is also to the other compound that's in the vaccine. So, but if you have no reaction at all, I mean, I guess in a way you're lucky for that few days you don't get sick, but, uh, you know. Overall, um, vaccine have shown that uh, antibody levels respond. You know, they respond very well with the vaccine and the boosters, and you know, the second dose without any issue, regardless as much of you know local reaction you've had. Okay. Any other questions? <laughs> 